Hi everyone and welcome to the IC YouTube channel. My name is Jacqueline, I use she, her pronouns, and welcome to A Day in the Life. So I am a sophomore cinema photo major at Ithaca, as well as I have minors in audio production and writing for film, TV, and emerging media. Outside of my studies, I work for DreamWorks as a feature production intern on an unannounced project. And I also work at PPEX, Park Portable Equipment Center and Services, in which everyone gets their film equipment from. So welcome to A Day in the Life with me. Along with my friends Maya and Lolly, we are producing a slasher short called Red Winter. I am also the director of photography, and so we're having our table read today for the first time with our entire cast. Super excited. Um, yeah, so let's go. Welcome to the Red Winter table read. Woo! Yeah. Alrighty, I'm a bit late, but I'm heading off to a read through of Greece. So this semester, I am part of one of the casts for Theater Lab's 24 hour play. So let's go! Welcome to the Grease Read Through! As the kids hear Vince Fontaine on radio. Because tomorrow night, yours truly, the main brain Vince Fontaine, will be MC in the big dance bash out at Rydell High School in the boys' gym. And along with me will be Mr. TNT himself, Johnny Casino, and the Gamblers. So, so make it a point to stop by the joint, Rydell High, 7 30 tomorrow night. I'm back from the table read and I'm writing the first draft to my script, Sweet Like Candy, for my ACP, Advanced Cinema Production, developing the short film class. And Maya's playing Miles Morales, Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm doing important work, thank you. Yes, very important work. So we finished out dinner at Terrace's and now Maya and I are playing pool against David. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> the eight ball almost went in the pocket. I did get one I did get one of them in before. I'm kind of winding down for the day. Thank you so much for coming along for the ride today. Um, today was honestly one of my lighter days and I hope you got a sense of a little bit of what it's like to be in production for a short film and for a theater production here at IC. I am so excited to start Red Winter in Greece and I hope that this helps you get a bit more excited and if you get the chance to, to come see the shows um, and to check out Red Winter when it comes out in the summer. As I said before, I'm a DreamWorks intern so tomorrow I'm gonna take you in the day of the life of a DreamWorks intern who's also a full-time student. All right, so first off, I'm walking off to park to do my opening shift at PPEX, the Park Portable Equipment Center and Services, which is where we get all the film equipment for everything that happens on campus. Alright, crazy day at work. I got some coffee. And now we're headed off to ACP developing the short film where we're gonna go over our first drafts of our films and critique them. So I got out of class and I got a lot of great feedback on my script. Um, also had a meeting with my roommate's professor about research for my uh, thesis film. Um, and now I'm heading back to my room and going to my internship. So you guys will get a little sense of what that's like. So a major thing that people ask me is, what exactly you, do you do as an intern? As a production intern, I work under production management. So I specifically for this project work in the visual development or the art department. People are like, oh, you work in production, so you must animate. Don't animate. I do not, I can't draw, I can't do any of that. So um, a lot of it would be note taking and sitting out on meetings, um, which happens to be with artists, the production designer, the director, um, there's executive pitches. Another thing that I also do is I look at old assets and I look at what things from previous movies can we use in this movie and like use as a reference. Surfacing is where, so you would have like a model, so say like this mug, you would get a model that has like the drawings of the flowers, except they're not colored. They're not properly colored or like the shine that you get off of a mug, you don't have that. That is where um, surfacing would come in, where you'd get the texture and the coloring um, 
four different assets. Production management is also in charge of morale events because everyone's working tirelessly and working extremely hard and putting out such amazing work. You do want to have morale events in order to give people a break. So for example, we had a morale event in which we had a game night for an hour and we just played games together as a department. And because everyone's working remotely, I'm working remotely in Ithaca, but everyone's working remotely even if they are in LA, you don't get to have that face-to-face -face time to talk to other artists and stuff. You're mostly just at your computer drawing and animating. So this gave an opportunity to, for people to like actually talk to people outside of work. So I hope that gave you a bit more insight to what I do. I have some meetings, but um, I'll get back to you on that later. Walking backwards was a bad idea. <laughs> Speeding. Market. See two Alpha Bravo, take two. Working on the Red Winter schedule. Um, we got a lot of film days ahead of us. You are mistaking my ability to think thoroughly today. 